What is up everyone, Northside here, welcome to my channel and Echoes of Prophecy Milestone 1 has begun. I have completed the entire campaign so I can show you the rewards and everything else. I I'm going to be blunt with you, this is a huge disappointment for me because they are just sending us back and forth, back and forth, do this. It's constant repeat, 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 go, do two, two big heroics, five minor heroics, get currency. The only thing that is good about this, if you want to buy out for Zen, if you do enough of those quests, the price will be lower. I will try to explain that much better later on through the video. But it's it's simply they're sending us to to Velos to to they don't. It's very small areas, and I will show you also that. But before we start, you have you're gonna have to start and talk to Sergeant Knox, and he will give you a quest that will take you. To, to investigate three dragons they are dead there are bones there and they you got you gotta kill a couple of mobs and that's it All, f following that you will be sent to sage shop and also i'm skipping all this because there's no need for you to see it this is the place where you get your quests you will also be end up going into protectors sorry moonstone, moonstone mask to talk to it's just go there, fetch that, like we're dogs. Like, you know, throw me a ball, come back, and that's nothing new. But here is the main guy. This is Elminster. This is where he is, where the auction house is. A lot of people are confused about this. And he will give you a repeatable quest uh, that you actually, you can see on my right side, root out to cultist. Every time you finish that quest, you get 24 of the currency. Now, in order to even check the campaign, you can go to your... You can just press J, go to your Sword Coast Chronicles, Campaigns, and here it is, Echoes of Prophecy. You can see that I have finished that, as you can see here, and we are going to actually claim the rewards. I just want to show you what I mean when I say that you need to actually, for example, on the right side, defeat Plague Cat Changed Mob 0 out of 4. So let me show you what I think about all this i really really dislike this so we're gonna go there and see you there so we are now in chasm and actually i'm going to switch my actual tracker to take me there this is jagged approach so here we are this is where they are and it should take me somewhere else but it's still taking me back so even my tracker is broken at the moment but nevertheless let's check out the rewards together so point being is you get from the board in the protectors enclave repeatable quests and they're giving you have one month to complete it if you didn't bought a battle pass and that's it so let's check out the rewards really quick we're gonna claim them together this is an emote and this is emote for survey emote survey survey and emote for narrow winter salute now the second reward is 20 reward reroll tokens and call as word. Everything is bind on pickup account. Nanometer standard artifact package. You can see it here. Glistering lion attire package. This is a uh, fashion. Uh, minus the wings and of course my transmog of the of the sword. So you can see how it looks like on a git. Not very nice, if you ask me. But I will go like that too. There it is. And you can see premium tasks are unlocked. So I'm gonna get the hawk. I'm gonna show you the hawk. And also jewel of the north artifact package here we go and that's it 100 percent advancement it's a grindy grindy campaign it's really really grindy i don't even know what to say um, so i'm just gonna say it that this must be one of the dumbest campaigns i have i've encountered with the exception of acquisition Incorpor incorporated at least you get some stuff here so we're gonna use our emotes Emote survey, so emote survey. Here we go. I'm looking through the look, looking glass that you can see here. There we go. And then she is going to stop. So that's one. Going back into my inventory, I got a coalescent ward. We're just gonna protect it. This is never into artifact package. As you can see, everything is bound to account. These are actually good for probably uh, tanks or some combat advantage, what, what not. Now we got glistering that I'm not going to open this. I already show you how it looks like. We can preview it because I'm low on inventory. 
and this is the Neverwintian Hawk. He goes into the place where the actual, and I'm only playing this account. So this is this is him. So when when you you must have a target, but he actually does, as you can see, 600, 630 magnitude damage to your targeted foe. So it's not a companion. This is not a companion, okay? Not a companion. I cannot summon him. Nothing like that. And last but not least, we have this mythic, as you can see here. They're all bound. This one, uh, if your role is a tank, you generate 50% more threat. If your role is not tank, you generate 15% less threat. So it came in mythic except the artifact. So the artifacts are green. Nervinter standard, Nervinter jewel of the north, as you can see here. So those are teamwork tactics and we have part of set Neverwinter. So that's your first milestone done. And that's that's all there is to it. I mean, I wish there was more to it, but um, just sending us to areas. Let's try Velosk, for example. I can always do that. You can see all these people here. Uh, they're, they're, they're trying to... You see, this is where I need to go, for example. All the way from here to there. So let's try Velosk, for example. Just for example. You just have to kill a couple of people and you're done with the quest. Turn in the quest and that's it. I just need to switch to my actual tracker and that will be done very fast here we go one one tip of advice uh, you will do have to do a lot of heroic encounters so uh, again a lot of heroic encounters a lot and I, I advise you i did them in the stronghold and it's going really fast i actually solo them and you don't get much more than just doing repeatable from the Elminster. So Elminster is going to gi keep giving you and giving you the quests. We are approaching the area. And here it is. This is my problem. You can see all these people here standing. And you can see on the right side on my map. That we need to defeat Shadowar emissaries. So that's that's all there is to it. So you, if you don't get a hit and they're really squishy. Usually I just drop like there they are i didn't hit a single one as you can see so everybody's mom a lot of people are camping these sites and they're all over the place they're in velos they're in uh, chasm they are in other places and you have to be aware of that just for the showcase uh let's check out how this set actually looks like oh obviously i'm wearing senior's cord that's my new set. I'm over 60,000 item level with 37 strength, which I think is absolutely insane. But I will make a separate video about that, update my build and whatnot. As you can see, these sets can be useful for somebody, not for DPS. Um, this is for tanks, for example. We got three con, three decks. We got six con on the neck piece. And the artifact, I won't even upgrade. I'm just going to put him in a bank. Maybe, maybe I'll roll a tank, you never know. Now, here, here, never winter buckle, for example. You can see we got three strength, three int, plus three combat advantage. Not so bad, but I have enough combat advantage as it is. And we have six constitution on the neck piece, sigil of the never winter. And we have this one with power, crit severity, awareness, and combined rating. And also the artifact, a jewel of the north, has power, defense, critical strike, and combined rating. So they are the same, as you can see that wise so that's all there is, that's all there is you need to know i am very unhappy with this event i actually finished it i don't want to waste my time and that that's a fact so uh good luck with hunting and um, i don't know what else to say just just a tip one more time go into strongholds do your stuff but other than that what i see what i'm seeing here is just us going to old content killing mobs and returning to Protector's Enclave, and that's it. The Milestone 1 is a flop for me, but that's just me. Maybe you will like it, and better. So, thank you for watching. This was Northside, and Northside is out.